Hello web developers. I wanted to talk a little bit about getting your code from Codecademy onto the web. Or more specifically, I want to talk about how to get it out of the Codecademy editor and into your own editor. So I have uh, Codecademy up in Firefox here. Notice I've logged in over here, so it saved my progress. So even though I did this a while ago, when I came back and clicked here, it shows all the different uh, steps you've gone through. And on the very last one, under Build Your Own Web Page, so under here, I'll go back to the beginning and show you. What I'm expecting for you to do first is to work to th work through these two lessons the HTML basics and the build your own web page and at the end of the build your own web page you should go to this particular assignment the very last one take the code I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna open up my text editor I use a program called BB edit mainly because I'm an old-school nerd and it is old-school nerdy and it's uh, very common for coders, but Text Wrangler is made by the same company. It's very free, which is a really big benefit. Uh, it runs on the Mac and it can actually directly access uh, FTP servers. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to paste it. And you'll notice that my text editor retains its own kind of syntax highlighting. So if you look over here at Code Academies, they used white and red and green. And BB Edit uses uh, its own sort of syntax highlighting, and your text editor will probably use its own form of syntax highlighting. I did not go out of my way to, to make my code beautiful. I did not go out of my way to make this. Uh, I just basically followed the example, and I, I did indeed kind of rush through it because I've done it a few times. But now that this is here, I'm going to file, save as, and I'm going to, there it is, save as. I'm going to choose a spot on my computer where I can save things. So I'm just going to use my desktop for now. You could certainly make yourself a folder. Notice that uh, my editor recognizes it as a .html file. You might have to do that yourself. I'll even delete the entire thing and write. Um, how about I'll put JN0074-CodeAcademy Lesson 1.html. Notice I used dashes instead of underscores and I didn't just jam all the stuff all together. Uh, I also used all lowercase and I'm trying to use a consistent naming system, something that I can uh, you know, easily keep up with what my files mean and what they're called. You certainly don't have to put your EU ID. I was just coming up with something. And I hit save. So now it's on my computer. What I would need to do now is open up my trusty FTP program. I use one on my computer called Transmit, but you could also use FileZilla, which is the one that is cross-platform, open source, and free. It's also pretty darn good. And then upload it to your own web space. So you would need to put your username and password, which you can email me to get the username and password for your own web page, and um, upload it that way. There will be separate instructions on how to do that, though. I just wanted to show how you could go from Codecademy to a text editor and save it to your computer. And then if I wanted to use this code later on for some other part of the class or uh, something like that, I could. This is also, if you find code on the book's website or on some other website, or someone mails you some code that you need to use, you can copy and paste it into your text editor, your text editor, the ones I'm telling you about anyway, will recognize the code as HTML and you can edit things from there. So that's the best way to do it.